Welcome back guys to Crypto for Life channel. Today we'll talk about how to do your own research and how to do your own fundamental analysis of the coins before investments. Let's jump in. There is a huge amount of tokens on the crypto market. There is no point investing in every single coin. Everyone remember that FTX crash, FTT and Terra Luna collapses. Many technological tokens that were in the top 10 five years ago are no longer even the top 100. Therefore, the cryptocurrency market, even with the best analysis, is a really high risky investment. And also here in an absolutely random meme token without any application, technology, a real team behind the project and other things can bring you the big money because the project will have a good marketing or PR campaign. Everyone remembers the SafeMoon, Shiba Inu and all other tokens that were just copy paste of Shiba and the Doge. Projects can be analyzed at any single stage early stage at early start when the project it's in active stage in a bear or a bull market let's say we got a project with excellent reputation team product but we are now at the peak of the bull market the same situation was with solana then it was really stupid to buy a token for 250 per token because newbies didn't know the price on the pre-sale was 20 cents the analysis of the token should come from the overall picture of what is happening in the crypto market. Never invest just by watching one video or reading one some random tweet because on bull run we can see million tweets from paid influencers who can shill hundreds random tokens. Always do your own analysis. Your money is only your risk and only your profit. We can determine the main six criteria for analysis. The first one is technology and the product. We need to explore what problem this product can solve in the future or in the present. Why people might invest in this product. It can be blockchain, protocol, DeFi sector, play to earn game, NFT, metaverse or web3. In CoinMarketCap you can sort by category. You can do the same in a CoinGecko for example. After learning about the project, ask yourself why this project can be successful. Also, the product may not be unique but it may be better than similar competitor projects. Does the project have a future? After answering these questions, consider for what time period you can invest in this project. Will the project be relevant in a year or five years? Trends. Always determine the trends that are now in the crypto market. In 2021, there was a trend for meme tokens like Dodge and SHIB. So we saw the hundreds copycats of Shiba Inu. Play to earn game, move to earn, metaverses, NFTs. It's important to understand when to enter trending projects, when to exit and when it's too late jump in. You also need to understand that the price of the token itself does not always have to grow with the development of the projects. Let's say we have a decentralized exchange and it has its own token, which people can use for the payment of the commission, so it's not involved in any way. Therefore, a decentralized exchange may be successful, but people may not buy the token as an investment and the project will be still successful at the same time. It is the same with play to earn project where the token can play a role as just only rewards. We remember the examples with X Infinity and SLP and Stappen. The next one is exchanges and liquidity. You can easily check this on CoinMarketCap in the market section. Look at which exchanges the token is already traded on. The more exchanges and their rating, the better for coin. Look at the trading volume. Because if the token, in your opinion, is promising and you bought it in your portfolio, it is possible that it's, if not traded on the exchanges, you simply will not be able to sell it. Therefore, there are many examples when people bought meme coins but could not sell them because there was no buyers. The liquidity of trading also showed the interest on this coin. If this is a brand new coin, just pay attention to new upcoming listings. But you should understand that the analysis should be in the complex, since for example, Hobby listed the entire 2021 to 2022 a large numbers of tokens. And then on the same day, they send letters to users so they decided to list 50 tokens in a one single day. Plus, never hold coins on the exchanges. Take only the amount that you need for trading. 
Next one, it's tokenomics, supply, and the unlocks. I will make a separate video on how to read and analyze tokenomics in detail, but tokenomics is not a magic pill or something because the team can change it. But here you need to understand the basic things, maximum, total, and circulation supply. For example, let's take a look on the Wadix coin. There can be only 1 billion coins in total. The total amount is 1 billion. And there now, at the current moment, it's only 150 million in circulation of the market now. This means that a very large amount of coins will hit the market in the future, which means that early investors who bought a coin on the pre-sale at the lowest price can gradually sell and push the price down in the future. Pay attention to the total capitalization, to the market cap. What percentage of the coins are already in the market circulation supply? If, for example, some coin got already all coins in circulation supply, then it will be more difficult to dump the price. As I have already shown you, you have to be realistic about the market cap and overall circulation of the coins. Consider an example. If the DYDX market cap will be 1 billion with the same circulation supply like now, we divide 1 billion by circulation supply and get an estimated price in the future. We can compare with other similar projects and imagine how realistic this price can be or not. Using the Uniswap like example, I have already shown you that with the same amount, the Uniswap capitalization reached around 22 billion and the price was at $40. In theory, DWX can repeat this price as long as the new tokens have not yet entered in circulation supply. Also, from the supply, you should look how many coins are in staking. So when you analyze, it's more about not only numbers, it's about a logic. Just for example, the Gaffy token. Gaffy is a Launchpad IDO platform. In order to participate in IDO on this Launchpad platform, people need to have an amount of Gaffy coins. The more coins, the higher the rating and the greater the allocation. We also understand that in order to participate in the press sales, people need to stake coins. That is, these coins will not be sold on the market. It makes no sense for people who want to participate in the press sale to sell a coin every single time when the price rises. They use it like a tool for the ranking. This means that the large number of coins can be staked. We can see that with the staking with 1 billion capitalization, the price can be much higher than now. A big mistake of newbies who enter the market, they pay psychological attention to coin with a lot of zeros. Because they begin to imagine that if I got 10 million coins in my wallet and when this coin costs $1, I will be rich. But they absolutely don't understand this coin will never be worth $1. After all, it is psychology. You more like to see 10 million meme coin in your wallet than only one coin of Ethereum. You also need to pay attention to distribution of coins, the vesting period. Using the example of DWX, we can see that until December 1st, 2023, a large number of coins will not be entered in circulation supply, which means that the price, if the market is positive, can grow without any single massive dumps. When there is a distribution of coins, you should understand that a large number of beginners absolutely don't pay attention to the vesting period and just buy this coin on emotion. The same situation was with Solana. But you also need to remember that the large unlocks doesn't mean that the price will fall instantly. It all depends on the cycle and the time frames. If there is a big split of coins in the bear market, it is better for funds who invested on early stage just hold these coins until the bull run starts and the sale gradually getting more profit than to dump the price even lower in the downtrend. Also try to understand the logic and predict the possible plans of the funds, why and when they should sell their coins. In order to sell a large volume of coins, they need liquidity and time. Therefore, funds don't sell everything at once. My ADZ indicator can help you with this. It shows the accumulation and redistribution timeframes. You can also find uh, value information about maximum price, average price, price on the press sale, on crypto rank or Messari. It's totally for free. And already draw conclusions for yourself. How relevant is to buy this coin now? Website, white paper, roadmap and audit. Project site. The site should be working with fully detailed information. The more open and transparent information there is better. So the team does not hide anything from investors and they still working on the project. Roadmap. It shows you what has already been done 
next deadlines and how timely the team fulfills its promises. Also, we have to double check the white paper. It's important to understand the concept of the project. There is often a lot of technical information there. So starting the whole concept of how the project work will not bring you much benefits. But like I already said, the technology itself, it's not always the result of the high asset price at a distance. But if you see like in meme dog coins that every white paper look the same and promises you golden mountains of money, but without any real specific, this is a really red flag and potential scam. Pay attention to the audit, who and when audited the smart contract. But it is also worth understanding that an audited company can also be bought. Therefore, it is not a main thing what you should to pay attention. Team, investors and the funds. The project team, real links to real people. If the team is anonymous, then this is already a potential red flag for the project. You have to understand that, yes, any single meme coin with an anonymous team can bring you a lot of money. But there is also a risk that a project is can be completely scam. Investing in a, such a project with anonymous team is already looks like gambling. And you can take a risk of this investment, but on a distant, we never know how it can play out. We look at the project participants, their personal pages on LinkedIn, Twitter. We look at who is following them from the big players and who are they following. Their experience and the previous project, how successful they were. Take a look at the section investors and the funds. 2022 showed us that the presence of large funds on the project website does not guarantee you its stability or profit in the future. But in any case, the presence of big names give us more confidence in the project. The funds it's really important because without money it's really difficult to develop the project. Every major fund has a whole team of professionals who can help a young or not so young startups in various issues from building a business model and tokenomics to marketing or reducing operating costs. Developers can be a brilliant callers as they want, but this does not mean that they are able to build a profitable business. Connections. Funds invest in dozens of projects, which means they communicate with hundreds and thousands of specialists around the world. When some cool fund invests money in a company, the rest of the market get a signal. These guys must be watched. At. If stock analysts who look at the hundreds of projects every month decide to entrust capital to the team, then the idea and the potential of the startup is at a fairly high level. But again, investing simply in a coin because some fund invested in it, not a guarantee you a profit. Social activity. Behind any investment, there is real money of real people. So social activity is really important. To work with analytics, we need to analyze activity in Discord, Telegram, Reddit. Just the number of subscribers does not mean anything. It could be just the bots. We can follow ambassadors' programs, test nets, updates from the team. We also analyze the GitHub, the number of contributors and how often they make updates. If no one is involved in the project, then the price of course can grow speculatively just in a bull market. But at a distance, you can lose a lot of money if the market turns in the opposite direction. A good example is when everyone say that the ICP token is dead because the price went down in the bear market, but let's take a look. ICP is now in top 10 project in terms of developer activity. That means that the team is working more actively than others on a product for the future market. Pay attention to the marketing. That is the both good and the bad. The Algorand product is amazing, but like example, the anonymous Shiba Inu team was able to build a marketing campaign thanks to paid media influencers and the Shiba capitalization was in the region of 40 billions. While Alga does not pay attention to the marketing and PR campaigns, so just retail investors um, maybe simply does not interest in the investing in Algorand. Twitter is very powerful tool. I recommend creating a multiply list to follow projects, funds, influencers, and stay tuned what they post. You can also use TweetDeck to organize your Twitter. It's totally for free. We analyze the activity, mentions, and discussions of the project. Remember that section on trends and always remember that trends come and go. So don't fall in love with coins. Take a profit. We use a coins guru where you can analyze any single account. 
Here, pay attention to the conditional rating of the account, who is following him, what fonts, what SEO, what media, what uh, other project, what uh, exchanges follow this project, and many other things. The crypto market is a market with high risk assets, and there are no rules for success or 100% working rules on how to become rich. A random meme coin can bring you your first million. And at the same time, a fundamental project can keep your portfolio in a drawdown for several years. Therefore, do your own analysis, never go all in in one project, avoid clear scam projects, diversify your funds. In the future videos, we will discuss the topic of investment and the project analysis. So in more detail, I will show you how to read the techonomics and we'll talk also about the risk management. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you like this video. Share this video with your friend. Subscribe channel, hit the like button, hit the bell notification button and don't forget to join my Telegram channel. See you next time guys.